local weather authority forecast. Good morning, friends, and a happy Tuesday, but most importantly, happy Election Day. Here's what we got going on right now outside of our Odessa cam. Wow, I could just swim in the skies. It is nothing but just nice and blue, not a single cloud in the sky so that means that you can go out and you can vote doesn't matter who you're voting for just go out there exercise your rights let's take a look down below driving conditions you're not really seeing much but all i will say is what you're seeing is it nice and clear down there and the same thing goes for your driving i want to make sure you're prepped ready to go because this morning was a cool one we had temperatures drop because of a cold front that did come on in heading on home though we're going to be nice and warm sitting in our 60s. It's going to be nice and cool, but it's also going to be a sunny one because you did see on our desk cam not a single cloud cover. Now here, when I was talking about that temperature change, that cold front that pushed on in this entire morning, the whole West Texas was just as blue as how Dryden, Big Spring, Snyder sitting. But right now, because the sun has, you know, really made its way into the sky and there's not a cloud cover in sight, temperature starts to heat on up, which is why we're four degrees warmer, Carlsbad, Guadalupe, by pass and eight degrees warmer in the Van Horn location. So our pluses and our minuses, what does that really mean? Well, we've asked, we've begged, we've pleaded for warm temperatures, weather, cool temperatures, and that's exactly what we are getting for today. On average, this time in November, we're used to 71 degree highs. For today, we're making it all the way up to 67, which definitely isn't bad. Still grab a jacket, wear a sweater, just something to make sure you're nice and warm because that cold front is really going to impact today's highs across the entire area to the point where Guadalupe Pass is only going to make it to 57 degrees and then our warmest is going to be the Presidio even Dryden location sitting at exactly 77. So for today's forecast no matter where you're at no matter what polling location you're going to be at I want to make sure that you are prepped ready to go because the sun is going to be over in the Permian Basin and it's going to be in the western highest terrains. It's just going to be nice and warm. We did see our camera shake a little bit and that's because winds are coming on in from the west traveling 10 to 15 miles per hour. Now here's what we do have for our temperatures. Don't forget that polls do close at 7 p.m. But if you're still in line at 7 p.m. you can vote by 7 p.m. rather. The temperatures though no matter what time you decide you're going to head on out to vote you definitely can because you're not going to have any winds impacting your day. You're not going to have any rain showers raining on out. You're going to be a okay. But because winds have been front and center the past, well, literally yesterday, I want to make sure you're prepped, ready to go for today. Now, the seven day forecast is going to show election day nice and sunny, 67 degree highs. We're going to increase by 10 degrees, mostly sunny. And then we're going to be seeing Thursday, Friday is when rain chances come in.